Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. Today, as communication technology advances with each passing day, global technology giants have set their sights on the next generation communication technology 6G. As a former communications hegemon, the United States has relied on the first mover technological advantages of Qualcomm and other companies over the past few decades to build impenetrable patent barriers and harvest global wealth. However, with the advent of the 5G era, this pattern has undergone earth-shaking changes. The sudden emergence of Chinese manufacturers such as Huawei and ZTE not only broke the United States communications hegemony, but also gained significant advantages in the 5G field. Nowadays, the United States is pinning its hopes on 6G and trying to revive the glory of the communications industry through overtaking around the corner, but the reality may not be what they want. The Rise and Challenges of the 5G Era In the past history of communications development, the United States has been the undisputed leader. The patent barriers imposed by Qualcomm and other companies have kept many technology giants out of reach. Even industry giants like Samsung and Huawei have to bow their heads. However, with the rise of 5G technology, the structure of the global communications market has undergone profound changes. With its strong R&D capabilities and technological innovation, Huawei has become the global leader in 5G patents, accounting for 14.59%, for exceeding competitors such as Qualcomm and Nokia. At the same time, China has also made remarkable achievements in the construction of 5G base stations. The cumulative number of 5G base stations built has exceeded 3.5 million, and the 5G penetration rate has reached nearly 80%. In comparison, the number of 5G base stations in the United States is only about 180,000, and Japan has only 50,000. The widespread application of 5G technology not only brings higher speed and lower latency network experience, but also promotes the rapid development of many fields such as the Internet of Things, smart manufacturing, and smart cities. China's leading position in this field not only means huge economic benefits, but also has important strategic value. Faced with this situation, the United States was naturally unwilling to be left behind, so it set its sights on future 6G technology. Competition and layout in the 6G era 6G technology is regarded as the core of the next generation of mobile communication technology. Its goal is to realize the integration of sky and earth interconnection and achieve global coverage without blind spots through the collaborative work of satellites and ground-based stations. This technology will further improve communication speed, reduce latency, enhance connection density and coverage, and introduce more innovative application scenarios, such as smart cities, autonomous driving, etc. In order to take the lead in the 6G field, the United States has joined forces with Japan, South Korea, and other allies to form the 6G alliance, and focuses on supporting Musk's Starlink plan. Starlink plans to provide high-speed internet access services to the world by launching a large number of low-orbit satellites. So far, Starlink has launched more than 6,600 satellites, occupying a large number of low-Earth satellite orbit resources. At the same time, the number of Starlink users has also grown rapidly and has exceeded the 3 million mark, covering more than 100 markets around the world. However, just when the United States thought it was about to turn around in the 6G field, China had already formulated countermeasures in advance. China not only launched the Hongyang Constellation Project, but also officially announced the Thousand Sails Constellation Project, which plans to launch about 14,000 satellites into low Earth orbit. This project is not only large scale, but also progressing rapidly. The first batch of 18 networking satellites was launched on August 6. 
This move will undoubtedly further consolidate China's leading position in the 6G field. Key points in the 6G competition between China and the United States The competition between China and the United States in the 6G field is mainly reflected in the number of patents, the layout of low-Earth orbit satellites, and terahertz technology. According to statistics from authoritative research institutions, China currently accounts for 40.3% of the world's 6G patents, far exceeding the United States' 35.2% and Japan's 9.9%. China, which has an advantage in the number of patents, undoubtedly has more say in the research and development and application of 6G technology. China has also shown strong strength in the layout of low-Earth orbit satellites. With the advancement of the Hongyang Constellation Plan and Qianfan Constellation projects, China will have more satellite resources to support the construction and operation of 6G networks. Although the United States Starlink plan is progressing rapidly, its advantages may gradually weaken in the face of China's huge satellite launch plan. In addition, terahertz technology is also a key part of 6G technology. China has made significant progress in research and application in the field of terahertz, especially in the real-time wireless transmission and communication function of terahertz orbital angular momentum, which has led the world. This technological breakthrough not only improves communication speed and quality, but also provides strong support for the widespread application of 6G technology. Although the United States is trying to achieve overtaking around the corner through 6G technology, the reality may not be what it wants. On the one hand, the research and development and application of 6G technology require long-term accumulation and investment, and there are no shortcuts. On the other hand, China's leading position in the 5G field has laid a solid foundation for its development in the 6G era. Whether it is the number of patents, technological strength or market applications, China has obvious advantages. In addition, global technology competition is becoming increasingly fierce, and countries are actively promoting the research and development and standard setting of 6G technology. In this context, it is difficult for any country to be alone. Cooperation and exchanges must be strengthened to jointly promote the development and progress of 6G technology. Therefore, it is not easy for the United States to revive the glory of the communications industry through overtaking around the corner. Today, with the rapid development of science and technology, the importance of communication technology as a bridge connecting the world is self-evident. The competition between China and the United States in the 6G field is not only about the technological strength of the two countries, but also about the future pattern of the global communications market.